Number five, rat torture. Rats have been used in many ways to torture people throughout the centuries. The most popular of these methods use a container to trap the rat against the flesh of the intended victim. When he is applied to the container, the rat gnaws and scratches through the victim's flesh to try and escape. Rats are still employed in modern day torture methods more than you might realize. As recently as 1983 in Argentina, reports of rat torture known as retroscope were used on some Jewish prisoners. This involved inserting live rats into the victim's anus or vagina through a tube. On a lighter side, this reminds me of a story that came out in 1998 about a gerbil, a tube, a lighter, and a guy named Kiki. For more of that story, check out the link at the end of this video. Number 4. The Spanish Tickler Not to be confused with a French tickler, this device, also known as a cat's paw, is made up of three to four tines about the length of a finger attached to a handle. This instrument was made specifically for ripping the flesh from the subject as well as any body part that got in the way. Ears, nipples, eyes, and genitals were all fair game when the tickler was raked over the victim's bare flesh. Number 3. The Pair of Anguish Used to torture liars, blasphemers, homosexuals, and women who were thought to have miscarried intentionally. This device would be inserted into one of the victim's orifices determined by what offense they had been accused of. The anus for homosexuals, the mouth for liars, and the vagina for abortionists. As a screw on the end of the device was turned, four leaves would spread out, increasing the size of the pair by 300%, which would in turn cause severe damage to the victim's body. I could not find any reports of a lubricant being used in this type of torture. Number 2. The Breast Ripper Also known as an iron spider, this nasty little fun bag ripper was usually heated and used to slowly puncture and rip the breasts from women who had been accused of any number of crimes, such as adultery, heresy, and even witchcraft. This torture was usually performed in front of the woman's family, often splattering blood onto her children. If the victim survived this form of medieval mastectomy, they would be disfigured for the rest of their life. Number 1. The Judas Cradle Imagine, if you will, being stripped naked, an iron ring placed around your waist, and having your hands and feet tied. A big-ass triangle is lined up with the selected orifice, and before you can yell out in pain, you are being fisted by the biggest woody you can imagine. Sometimes weights were added to the victim for a more forceful and deeper penetration. This type of torture lasted from hours to days before the victim died from either trauma or infection. This concludes our list of sick and twisted medieval torture methods, but is by no means a complete account of torture methods used. Spank you for watching, and remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.